Minnie Mouse is a funny animal cartoon character created by Ubi Works and Walt Disney. She was first drawn by Iwerks Works in 1928, as was Mickey Mouse. The comic strip story The Gleam by Meryl Demaris and Floyd Gottfredson first gave her full name as Minerva Mouse. This full name is seldom used. The comic strip story Mr. Slicker and the Egg Robbers introduced her father Marcus Mouse and her unnamed mother, both farmers. The same story featured photographs of Minnie's uncle Milton Mouse with his family and her grandparents Marshall Mouse and Matilda Mouse. Her best known relatives, however, remain her uncle Mortimer Mouse and her twin nieces, Millie and Melody Mouse, though most often a single niece, Melody, appears. In many appearances, Minnie is presented as the girlfriend of Mickey Mouse, a close friend of Daisy Duck, and usually a friend to Clarable Cow. Origins of the character In 1928, Walt Disney and Dubai Works created Mickey Mouse to act as a replacement to his previous star Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. But Mickey could not fill the void alone. Among the few consistent character traits Oswald had developed before moving on to Universal Studios was his near-constant pursuit of potential sweethearts. So for Mickey to have a chance to emulate his predecessor at flirting, someone had to replace Oswald's many love interests. This replacement to Miss Rabbit, Miss Cottontail, Fanny and an uncertain number of unnamed nurses and dancers was to become Minnie Mouse. Minnie was designed in the fashion of a flapper girl. Her main outfit today usually includes a short polka-dotted dress with a matching bow and white gloves. Although she always appears in red, she was originally designed to have a blue and green outfit. In the 1929 cartoon The Carnival Kid it was also revealed that she wears black stockings. Her shoes are probably her most distinctive article of clothing. For comedic effect, she wears oversized high-heeled pumps that are too big for her feet. Her heels often slip out of her shoes, and she even loses her shoes completely in the galloping gaucho. When she walked or danced, the clip-clop of her large pumps were usually heard clearly and often went with the rhythm of the music that was played in the background. Along with Mickey, she was redesigned in the 1940s. Her hat was replaced with a large bow, and bows were added to her shoes as well. Her eyes were also given more detail. Throughout the 40s and 50s, her look and personality became more conservative. Minnie first appeared in Plain Crazy. Minnie is invited to join Mickey in the first flight of his aircraft. She accepts the invitation but not his request for a kiss in mid-flight. Mickey eventually forces Minnie into a kiss but this only results in her parachuting out of the plane. This first film depicted Minnie as somewhat resistant to the demanding affection of her potential boyfriend and capable of escaping his grasp. Their debut however featured the couple already familiar to each other. The next film featuring them was The Galloping Gaucho. A film was the second of their series to be produced, but the third to be released, and was released on December 30, 1928. We find Minnie employed as the Cantina Argentina, a bar and restaurant established in the Pampas of Argentina. She performs the tango for Mickey the Gaucho and Black Pete the Outlaw. Both flirt with her but the latter intends to abduct her while the former obliges in saving the damsel in distress from the villain. All three characters acted as strangers first being introduced to each other. But it was their third cartoon that established the definitive early look and personality of both Mickey and Minnie, as well as Pete. Steamboat Willie, was the third short of the series to be produced but released first on November 18, 1928. Pete was featured as the captain of the steamboat, Mickey as a crew of one and Minnie as their single passenger. The two anthropomorphic mice first star in a sound film and spend most of its duration playing music to the tune of Turkey in the Straw. Minnie's Yoo-Hoo, her next appearance was arguably more significant. Mickey's Follies, featured the first performance of the song Minnie's Yoo-Hoo. The guy they call Little Mickey Mouse for the first time addresses an audience to explain that he has got a sweetie, who is, neither fat nor skinny, and proudly proclaims that she's my little Minnie Mouse. Mickey then proceeds in explaining his reaction to Minnie's call. The song firmly establishes Mickey and Minnie as a couple and expresses the importance Minnie holds for her male partner. Soon it would become the theme song to all of their series. Damsel in Distress, her final appearance for the year was in Wild Waves, 
carried by a wave into the sea. She panics and seems to start drowning. Mickey uses a rowboat to rescue her and return her to the shore but Minnie is still visibly shaken from the experience. Mickey starts singing the tune of Rocked in the Cradle of the Deep, a maritime ballad, in an apparent effort to cheer her up. Minnie cheers up and the short ends. This is the second time Minnie is placed in danger and then saved by her new boyfriend. It would not be the last. In fact this was the case with her next appearance in The Cactus Kid. As the title implies the short was intended as a western movie parody, but it is considered to be more or less a remake of the Galloping Gaucho set in Mexico instead of Argentina. Minnie was again cast as the local tavern dancer who is abducted by Pegleg Pedro. Mickey again comes to the rescue. The short is considered significant for being the last short featuring Mickey and Minnie to be animated by Buy Works. The shindig featured Minnie joining Mickey, Horace and Clarable in a barn dance. Among them Clarable seems to be the actual star of the short. Director Bert Gillett turned in another enjoyable entry in the series, proved that production could go on without iWorks. This was arguably the first time Minnie was upstaged by a female co-star. In the firefighters Minnie is trapped in a hotel during a fire. She spends the duration of the short in mortal peril but is rescued by firefighters under Chief Mickey Mouse. Horace Horsacollar is among the firefighters. An unnamed cow in the background is possibly Clarable making a cameo. The music of the short was, appropriately, the tune of There'll Be a Hot Time in the Old Town Tonight. Your next entry in the series is considered curious, The Gorilla Mystery. The short starts with Beppo the gorilla escaping from a zoo. Mickey learns of it and panics. He phones Minnie to warn her about the dangerous gorilla wandering about. Minnie is unconcerned and plays tunes on her piano for Mickey to hear over the phone and know she is not afraid. Her tunes are interrupted by her scream and Mickey rushes to her house to save her. Meanwhile Beppo has wrapped up Minnie in rope and holds her hostage. Mickey confronts the gorilla and once again rescues the damsel in distress. The short ends with Minnie and Mickey jointly wrapping up the gorilla in rope. Modern audiences have commented on elements of bondage apparent in the short and the mysterious motivation of Beppo. Note that the theme of kidnapping by a gorilla is present here three years prior to the King Kong film of 1933. Introduction of a pet, in The Picnic, Minnie introduces her boyfriend to her new pet dog Rover. This is actually Pluto making his first appearance as an individual character. Two unnamed bloodhound guard dogs strikingly similar to him has previously appeared in the chain gang which featured Mickey incarcerated in prison without Minnie at his side. Otherwise the short features a typical picnic excursion harassed by forest animals and brought to a premature end by a sudden rain. The final appearance of Minnie during the year was Pioneer Days. The short featured Minnie and her mate as pioneer settlers heading to the American Old West driving a covered wagon in a wagon train. They are unsurprisingly attacked by Native Americans on their way, a stock plot of Western movies at the time. While their fellows are either subjected to scalping or running for their lives, Minnie is captured by the attackers. Mickey attempts to rescue her only to be captured himself. In a reversal of their usual roles, Minnie escapes her captors and rescues her mate. They then dress as soldiers of the United States Army. Their mere appearance proves sufficient to have the entire tribe running for the hills. The mouse couple stands triumphant at the end. The short has been criticized for its unflattering depiction of Native Americans as rather bestial predators. Their depiction as being part Jewish is not particularly fondly seen by modern audiences either. The finale has been edited out in recent viewings for depicting the brave submitting to cowardice. In several shorts, comics and on some Mickey Mouse Clubhouse episodes, Minnie owns a black and white kitten named Figaro, who had originated in the Disney animated feature Pinocchio. Waning years, during the second half of the 30s, Minnie didn't appear as often in Mickey cartoons. This was mainly due to the growth in popularity of Mickey's new sidekicks, Goofy and Donald Duck, whose appearances in Mickey cartoons had more or less replaced Minnie's role. Minnie's appearances in Mickey cartoons thus became less numerous, but she did have a few major roles in some Pluto and Figaro cartoons during the 1940s. 
Minnie made a sort of comeback in the 1980s when she was reintroduced in Mickey's Christmas Carol and then got her own starring role in Totally Minnie. Contemporary Appearances She starred in a television show specially called Totally Minnie and she also appeared in a line of merchandise called Minnie and Me. Minnie's return to animation came in Mickey's Christmas Carol. She was cast as Mrs. Cratchit. As with most Disney characters, she was given a small cameo in, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Minnie Mouse makes an appearance in every episode of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Minnie runs a neighborhood in Disney's Toontown online called Minnie's Melodyland. This is a powerful area with access to Toontown Central, the BRRGH, and Donald's Dreamland. Minnie is available to sign autographs and take pictures throughout today in various locations at the different Disney Resort theme parks around the world. She also appears in all of the daily parades that take place at the Disney Resorts. Television In Mickey Mouse Works, she finally appeared in her own segments. Occasionally, she starred in Maestro Minnie Shorts, in which she conducts an orchestra of living instruments that she usually has to tame. In House of Mouse Minnie is in charge of running the nightclub, while Mickey primarily serves as the host, and appears in the Playhouse Disney children's television series Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. In one episode of House of Mouse, Claribel's Big Secret, Minnie reveals that she has gone to the movies with Mortimer Mouse, although it is not a date. Minnie is a Queen and Princess, Kingdom Hearts series. She appears in the Kingdom Hearts game series as the Queen of Disney Castle with Mickey serving as the king and her husband. She, at the suggestion of a letter left by the missing king, sends Donald Duck and Goofy on their mission to find Mickey and the Kablade Master, Sora. During Kingdom Hearts 2, when Pete's tampering of the past causes the Heartless to appear in Disney Castle, Minnie is forced to fall back to the library to get to the bottom of it until Sora and company arrive. While Donald and Goofy head to get the other residents to safety, Sora serves as the Queen's bodyguard to get her to the cornerstone where, during this time, Minnie shows powers as a sorceress of white magic, casting a holy light on the heartless that attack as well as a powerful combination with Sora that unleashes a huge beam of light all around her. In the prequel Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, she oversees the annually held Dream Festival in Disney Town, where Pete causes mischief until she banishes him to another dimension as punishment. She appears in Kingdom Hearts 3D, Dream Drop Distance in a role mirroring that in the film Mickey, Donald, Goofy, The Three Musketeers, where she is referred to as Princess Minnie and rules a world called the Country of the Musketeers. Mickey, Donald, Goofy, The Three Musketeers, in the 2004 direct-to-video movie Mickey, Donald, Goofy, The Three Musketeers, Minnie plays the role of the Princess of France, who continually daydreams about her true love. Mickey. She's also the only monarch getting in the way of the plans of Pete, who can't take over the kingdom if he cannot get rid of her. Interestingly, for this particular film, Minnie is drawn with hair bangs, which do not appear in any later cartoons. Disney on Ice In the Disney on Ice play Disney presents Pixar's The Incredibles in a Magic Kingdom adventure, Mickey and Minnie are both taken hostage by an android replica of Syndrome who seeks to construct his own idea of the happiest place on Earth in Walt Disney World's place. They are briefly imprisoned in the Pirates of the Caribbean attraction's prison cell before an assault on the robot syndrome by the Incredible Family forces him to lock them up in laser prisons, but not without using a flamethrower in a botched attempt to incinerate their would-be superhuman saviors. After the robot syndrome is congealed by Frazan, Mickey and Minnie are finally liberated, the Walt Disney World Resort is restored to its former glory, and the Incredibles become Mickey and Minnie's newest friends. Voices of Minnie Mouse Minnie was first voiced by Walt Disney, who was also the original voice of Mickey Mouse. Marjorie Ralston, a Disney Inca, voiced her in one cartoon in 1929. Then, from 1929 up until 1939, she was voiced by Marcelite Garner. Then from 1941 to 1942, and on the radio program, The Mickey Mouse Theatre of the Air, she was voiced by Thelma Boardman. Following this, from 1942 up to 1952 Ruth Clifford provided the character's voice. Currently, Russie Taylor has voiced Minnie since 1986. Her late husband, Wayne Olween, 
voiced Mickey from 1977 until his death in 2009. Her Japanese voice is by Yako Mizutani. Appearances in cartoon shorts, 1920s, Steamboat Willie, The Galloping Gaucho, The Bum Dance, Plain Crazy, When the Cat's Away, The Plowboy, The Carnival Kid, Mickey's Follies, Mickey's Choo Choo, Wild Waves, 1930s, The Cactus Kid, The Firefighters, The Shindig, The Gorilla Mystery, The Picnic, Pioneer Days, The Birthday, Traffic Troubles, The Delivery Boy, Mickey Steps Out, Blue Rhythm, the Barnyard Broadcast, The Beach Party, Mickey Cuts Up, Mickey's Orphans, The Grocery Boy, Barnyard Olympics, Mickey's Review, Musical Farmer, Mickey in Arabia, Mickey's Nightmare, The Woodpy Party, Touchdown Mickey, The Wayward Canary, The Klondike Kid, Building a Building, Mickey's Pal Pluto, Mickey's Melodrama, Ye Olden Days, The Male Pilot, Mickey's Mechanical Man, Mickey's Gala Premiere, Puppy Love, the Steeplechase, The Pet Store, Shanghai, Camping Out, Mickey's Steamroller, Two Gun Mickey, On Ice, Mickey's Rival, Hawaiian Holiday, Boat Builders, The Brave Little Tailor, Mickey's Surprise Party, 1940s, The Little Whirlwind, The Nifty 90s, Mickey's Birthday Party, First Aiders, Bath Day, Figaro and Frankie, Mickey's Delayed Date, Pluto's Sweater, 1950s, Pluto and the Gopher, Crazy Over Daisy, Pluto's Christmas Tree, 1980s, Mickey's Christmas Carol, 1990s, Runaway Brain, Television Appearances, The Mickey Mouse Club, Mickey Mouse Works, House of Mouse, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Mickey Mouse, References, External Links, Minnie Mouse at the Index, Minnie Mouse at the Internet Movie Database.